Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in what feels like an age since I actually put a video out. Um, I, I've got some gifts and uh, one deal that I've done here. This, These were all well before Christmas. Um, I just haven't got around to putting them into a video and that's what this is. Um, it's much as you would expect from me it's a lot of xbox but let's uh, let's crack in so first things up is a deal that i've done with a fellow tuber and uh, let's see who that person is hey i wanna wanna say got a few little pickups here but gotta say a big thank you to um retro ed um that's right, people. As I keep calling him, it's YouTube's favourite ginger. That is Liam, Retro Ram. So before Christmas, Liam had a load of Xbox games that he he put out. And I, I had a look at them and uh, there were a few titles that I liked. So let's just have a look at what I picked up. Uh, so the first game I, I picked up off of Liam was Voodoo Vince. Now this has had a remaster. Um, essentially, you play a voodoo doll and it's, it's like a puzzle platformer so microsoft studios um published at, obviously it's xbox or, um only on xbox uh it's sort of um i guess it's in the vein of um, like a mario 64 style 3d platformer with a mix of um possibly like stubs of zombie type humor uh, it's a game that I've been meaning to pick up. I just hadn't done it, and then Liam was was just getting rid of it. So I uh, I said I would take it, and I also picked up from him a copy of The Hobbit. Uh, it's not supposed to be a great game. It has no manual, but I'm not bothered about that. It's not an expensive one to grab if I want to get the manual. Uh, again, it's another sort of action style 3D. Uh, exploration game I didn't pick that up off Liam I'm not sure why I put that in this pile um, I also got Van Helsing off of him again no manual but I'm not fussed about that um, it's it's a film tie-in I don't know what else to expect from it uh, the film wasn't great I'm not expecting the game to be amazing if I'm honest and I also picked up Defender um, this looks like a 3D take on the original sort of Defender line. Um, I, I'm again, Defender was before my time, but you there's a lot, quite a few um, exclusives in here. There's a club mix for a song, um, and then there's the making of Defender and Defender a historical perspective. <sighs> this is why I'm made so many videos recently it's just tiredness um working and the final game because uh the final game is one that i've been after for a while i nearly picked it up when i was out with chili months and months ago and um and we went into cex in rochdale i think and um was on the shelf i looked at it and nearly nearly picked it up to buy it and then realized that it was a reprinted cover the game in question is death smiles now i'm led to believe this is a fantastic um fantastic shooter three discs all three discs are in the chunky manual um has been attacked by game as you can tell by all the stickers but that's not an issue i'll just take them off eventually um so yeah those were the games that I did in a deal with Liam. What we'll do is we'll move on to the gifts now. So the first one up is a gift from from somebody who I consider a, a good friend now. Um, we, I, I wasn't expecting it to turn up. Uh, I wasn't expecting this as a gift at all. It was, um, I shared my list of Xbox titles um, well, I showed my whole um, Libib uh, uh, entries with a couple of guys, and um, 
and then this turned up randomly out of the blue. So, um, so yeah, I was I was chuffed to receive this. So, who is this from? Well, let's take a look. Hey guys, how are you all doing today? Right, let's let's get one thing out of the way first. Yes, I'm recording this straight after the pickups video that you've just seen, and I know some time has passed. That's right. It is from Chile now. Chile or Andy, as he's also known. Um, it, again, as I say, he's, he's a good friend of mine. His channel's a good channel. He started putting out a lot of Pokemon stuff, which I know a lot of people are into. But receiving this gift was just amazing. There's only I've only uh, I've never seen this in the wild, and every time I've looked at CEX, there's only ever been one copy, uh, and this came through from CEX. So Andy must have bought it from one of the from from the CEX that had it in stock, and that is a Blackstone Magic and Steel. Again, another only on Xbox title. However, when it came, I was expecting it to be manualless or or you know something along those lines. But it came fully complete. So yeah, we I, I have a copy of Blackstone to go into the collection. I'm looking forward to playing that. Um, I've entered the 52 game uh, challenge that a few of the guys have do, done before. I'm looking forward to uh, to you know I'm probably going to play some of these old original Xbox games to to get through them as well. So absolute belting gift from Andy um, and you know anybody who is not aware of any of these channels should go and look at them all the links are in the description as usual um, next up another deal oh, not another deal another set of gifts <clears throat> so uh, I, again I shared my my entry with a with a few people and um, or did I know I shared what I was going to be buying at Don or what I was looking for at Doncaster actually into one of the WhatsApp groups and one of the guys said oh I, I can help you out by sending you these two uh, and I was like if you're sure if you're not you you know if you're not doing anything with them fantastic so who is that uh, fellow YouTuber then let's have a look guys and welcome back to Gabit 4 Gaming uh, Zember Pack Ups 2021 and December is a very important month because it is my B day. Yep. And where are you Johnny? I am eight years old. Yeah, you are. Where does the time go? What? It's crazy. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Anyway. Look at me, it's October 7th. No, I That's right. It is my fellow blue brother it's gib 84 obviously we're both big rangers fans uh, i just don't have the same accent as he does um and the, the two games that came across aren't only on titles one of them i don't know why i thought i already had it but i'm I, and i didn't for some reason and um, that is fable the lost chapters so i really like the fable games i'm hoping that the uh, the new one when it comes out is just as good as the 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 original ones um one and two are fantastic three is good but it's not as good as as one and two um uh, and yeah they're just brilliant adventure games and where you can either be super good or super evil and and your personality changes and your looks change great great set of games um highly recommended if anybody is looking for something to play on xbox uh the first Fable, I think, was Xbox Original or just Xbox. It has been re-released as Fable Anniversary, and then two and three are Xbox 360 titles. All of them are backwards compatible, uh, and yeah, highly recommend playing them. And the other game was Silent Scope Complete. Now, I don't know much about Silent, but I don't know much about Silent Scope as a game. I am really, really looking forward to trying to find some way of fitting a CRT 
into my games room. I'm not entirely sure how I can do it. Uh, hopefully you, you'll see that because I've, I've got I've got plans to do a room tour at some point this year. Been promising it for a while and just never done it. Uh, and as part of that CRT, I got that massive gun from from Big Game Owl, and I'm looking forward to using that to play this the these games. And, and yeah, so again, two more fantastic titles to add into the collection. Um, and then we move on to what is I was never expecting the amount that is here um, from this person. But we'll, uh, we'll, let's see who this next set of gifts are from and then we'll talk about the gifts. Good evening everyone, my name is Cor Banner and welcome to this week's gaming pickups video. In this one I am going to be showing some PlayStation games um, for pretty much most consoles other than the PlayStation 1 as I kind of, well, shot my load on those. Um, Yes, that's right. These are from Jim over at Corbana. Now, it's quite a pile. Um, <clears throat> so, let's talk about these then. So, yeah, I'd sent Jim my, my um, list of Xbox titles as well, and he looked through a load of stuff that he was getting rid of, and these were ones that he was going to get rid of, and, and he, he kindly just gave them me. And then when we got to Don, what got to Donny, we met up some breakfast. Myself, Chili, Jim, and his cousin. And uh, when we went back to the cars, um, Jim passed me these, and he then opened up a bag and said, "Oh, there's a lot of other stuff in here. Is there anything anybody wants?" And I picked this up because my missus is really into Harry Potter, um, and I picked up Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the GameCube. I don't have a massive GameCube collection. My GameCube collection is mainly sort of your not premier titles, but titles such as uh, Double Dash and, and uh, things like Wind Waker and uh, uh, what's the one called? Twilight Princess, that kind of stuff. And uh, when I saw that, I was like, I, yeah, I'll, I'll take that because I think Laura might enjoy playing it. <clears throat> So, uh, this is actually one that I, I don't know whether I paid Jim or I still need to pay Jim for this, but this was one that he picked up from uh, Car Booty Man, and that was Advent Rising. He picked this up for me. Um, it's fully complete. I, again, I don't know much about this. I, I thought it was, um, I thought it was sort of a, an adventure game but it looks more like a third person shooter in the halo style um so yeah i don't know what to think about it to be honest um but it's one that i will look forward to to getting on and getting played now these are are the next ones are just to not pad out the collection but there's some you know I'm, i will look to to try and play and some i won't there's um don't but well, there's one only on xbox title the rest aren't only on xbox but i do um i'm not going to go for a full set but there are games that i will try and pick up so the first one is herbs sims in the city um i'm not a big sims fan but i have played this um i can't remember if i played this on my i, I can't remember what i played it on maybe playstation 2 or maybe I played this on GameCube actually. I can't remember. But yeah, so that's the the first sort of gift from Jim along with the, the Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. The next game is Worms 3D. So Worms is absolutely brilliant. Um, really good as a multiplayer. It's a Team 17 game um, by, uh, published by Sega. Um, yeah, it's... <sighs> I, I can't really say much about it. I did get the Worms collection on Evergade. It's it's not the best. I think it'd be better on the VS and and playing you know with with other people. Uh, next up is Colin McRae Rally 04. Now I'm not a massive racing game fan. Uh, I always openly admit that, 
but the Colin McRae series was the first set of racing games I played on the PlayStation 1. Uh, I used to, my mum's next door neighbour, um, we used to get on quite well. Even when I was a kid, like 14, 15, you know, he'd, he'd take me to work with him and fix cars and, and, and bits and pieces. And uh, he used to play Colin McRae on the, the PS1. Uh, and I, I used to go in and, and have a few blasts on it, and it, it was brilliant. And then obviously I, I got it for myself, had my own PS1, and uh, yeah, I really like the rally style games, much better than most kind of um, so where I'm, sim type games. I think it is. I think it's racing sim that I'm looking for, uh, a bit like the original Forzas and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of of those, and then. I have the first one of this, but Jim gladly sent, kindly sent me the second one, and that is Conflict Desert Storm 2. Uh, the Conflict Desert Storm games are third-person shooter set in, and this one's in during Desert Storm, which was the first Iraq War, I think. Um, and you know, it, it gives you the setting, it's boots on the ground, you, you go around and you fight your enemy. Again, this is an only on title. Now, I have a few of these now. Um, I, I want to say they're all only on titles as well. Um, and that is the first Unreal Championship. Now, Unreal was one of the one of the first competitive um, uh, multiplayer games, I think. I think it was one of the first that they, they created championships for, hence the, uh, the, the Unreal Championship. Um, it's by Atari. It, it, it's again. It's an only on title. Uh, I will try and get it played. It's it just it's your typical first person shooter that you can play multiplayer and, and split screen. And the next one again. This is a, a sequel to one I already have, and that is Ford Racing Two. Um, drive the Legend. So there are many different cars that you can drive. Um, you've got the likes of the 1956 F100 pickup, the, the Mustang GT, so I think that's the Shelby GT. Uh, there's, there's all sorts of different cars. Uh, Thunderbirds, Mustangs, F-Series, cars from films, TV shows, exotic cars. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty cool. Um, I must admit I'm a big fan of the... Um, the big F series trucks uh, saw awards of them when we were in Canada. The the F, so the F one hundred is slightly bigger than our Ranger. As the Ranger in Canada is uh, essentially just a four by four like truck, uh, like a Jeep type style. Um, no, like a uh, an SUV, but but four by four SUV, um, and then. Uh, but yeah you you've got the 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 ranger in the uk or the the raptor version of that ranger is probably about the size of the f100 then there's the f200 which is slightly bigger has a longer wheelbase and then is it the f2 no f300 and then there's the f500 which is huge and you can get the double axle ones at the back those ones tend to be used as tow trucks they're just immense cars if if they were practical in the UK, I would probably love to have one imported, or better still, I would love to move to Canada, if I'm honest. Um, uh, that's another story. And the last racing game, again, it's another sequel. This is one of the racing game styles that I'm not a massive fan of, uh, but it's Toka Race Driver 2. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the realistic Sims, um, just not for me. And this final game, uh, I already own the game. But there's a reason that I got this. So the final game is Fahrenheit. But this is the reason that I picked the, that I got Jim to provide to provide me to give me this. It comes in this lovely slip cover, and it's just got sort of all of the awards and stuff that this game won. Uh, fantastic game. So um, you kind of. Uh, Try to think. It's, it's like a, I guess like a manhunt style, but uh, but yeah. So the, yeah, that is everything. That pile of games 
we're all gifts and deals done with fellow YouTubers. Wanted to get them done so I could get them in the shelves. I'm going to rearrange my shelves a bit slightly because I need I need I need additional space for some Xbox 360 and additional space for Xbox One and additional space for OG Xbox. So I'm I'm going to rejig my shelves slightly. Um, I've got enough room to be able to to do it without having to go buy any more single shelves from IKEA at the minute. Uh, but then I've got the option of, of adjusting them even further if need be. So. Yeah, that is it. All that's left me to do is thank you for watching. I have been the Ink Northerner, and I'll catch you on the next one.